celebrations. Now, in the wake of New Year's Eve celebrations, President Uhuru Kenyatta has called for peaceful campaigns in the run-up for the 2017 general election. Addressing the nation on the eve of New Year in Mombasa, the president said the government will not allow violence to take place, adding that action will be taken against those out to incite Kenyans. He further tore into the opposition, accusing them of being selfish. We are a country whose political and economic importance to the world is growing. Almost all the leaders of the UN Security Council and the group of seven largest economies have come to visit us. Not for show, but reflecting the place we increasingly enjoy in the world, our central role in regional peace and stability, our leadership on matters of environmental protection, and the development of renewable energy resources. There are over 60 major global companies with their regional or continental headquarters in Kenya. They tell me that their Kenyan staff are as competitive as the best the world has to offer. From here, they reach into every part of our continent, aided by our improving infrastructure and the skills and hard work of our people. We are a country on the move, and I am proud that the efforts of my administration have had a lot to do with this advanced stature and achievement. We are a developing country in the poorest continent in the world. We are a country in one of the toughest and most conflict-prone regions in the world. Great nations with wealth and jobs for all are not built quickly or easily. But I am proud of what we have achieved in a mere 50 years. The wise decisions we have made as a people have kept us from the successful coups and disastrous wars that too many of our neighbors have suffered from. We must be able to remember where we have come from and how much we have achieved, even as we continue to urgently undertake a process of transformation during this generation and the ones to come. Fellow Kenyans, we require morale and hopefulness if we are to harness our energies and work toward the vision of a prosperous, secure, and fair Kenya that every generation of Kenyans have worked towards and passed on to their children. I am profoundly aware that we are a country with serious challenges to overcome. Our country remains under threat from global terrorism, even as my administration's policies and investments have minimized the number and severity of attacks. There are too few jobs for our young people who have become even more educated. Too many families are suffering from alcoholism among father and sons, and it is why I've enhanced efforts to eliminate illegal liquors. Fellow Kenyans, while we have made strong investments in health and maternal and infant mortality, too many Kenyans are still dying from preventable and treatable diseases. I have seen the suffering of patients as doctors go on strike, and we have worked hard to arrive at a workable solution with the doctors, but there are limits to what the government can manage